Edward Aberdeen is a masterful American painter, a lifetime career artist who started with abstraction and has evolved to figuration. The vast knowledge from abstraction enriches Edward's figuration paintings. Simplicity, Edward says, simple things make great paintings. That In major league sports, you can either make a team or not. And uh, yet in art, anyone can declare themselves an artist. Right. And uh, what sets you apart and what do you look for in a serious artist? Why would I be looking? Time. Time. Time will do it. You know, everyone chooses to do it, and time will decide who did it and who didn't. Take, for instance, the Whitney Annual has 250 artists in it, <laughs> right? There's probably not 250 artists since the year 1000, right? Mm -hmm. Point of it has to do with uh, the system we live under. You know, if this must be a great world if it can produce all those artists. <laughs> yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You would think that. I would think so. I mean, like, we've got a major population of artists since, uh, you know, since, uh, I guess, Jasper Johns and uh, Paul. Yes, that was just. Uh, Someone got the idea you could actually earn a living doing it. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you about something about your new work. I've noticed that your new work has a complexity that reveals itself over time. There's underpainting that reveals deep color, references to mythology, and a vocabulary of forms. For example, like the round, sensuous cars of the 50s that seem to populate the paintings. and the, I was wondering what might be behind this, or if you could describe your process a bit. Gee, I don't know. They're, they're basically all, they're Western art. Mm -hmm. And Western art is about one thing, figuring a landscape. It has to be. How could we do otherwise? How could we as you know, creatures in the landscape create anything different than that. That's why abstract painting is not really a Western concern. Mm -hmm. It's more Eastern. Right. And uh, it's for Easterners to do. 